I define this as stagflation. We right. are in recession and we've got inflation. That is stagflation. What, you disagree with me? Well, here's what you have to think about, Stuart, right? It's all about wages and inflation. And you're right, right? Right now, we are in that stag stagflation area because inflation's yeah. high. We saw that earnings or wages did not go up as high as inflation did. But you just saw that 10 year Treasury. It's down under 2.7%. Yeah. What's Commodity prices are coming down. Inflation's coming down. But meanwhile, wages are going to stay high. In fact, we have such a huge wage gap right now, Stuart, that baby boomers that were retired actually are coming back into the workforce because we literally have so many jobs to fill. That's not going away anytime soon. That's it. So you're not buying the doom and gloom. Oh, I'm not. You're not buying it at all. I'm not buying it at all. Yeah, that's why I do the drum roll. So what does that mean for the stock market? Are you buying stocks actively? Oh, 100 percent. I was on your show about two weeks ago. You know, I think we are pretty we probably are at the bottom at this point. Right? We, the bottom is in markets up close to 10 percent since last month, since I was on your show. Right. I digress. But what we have to look at here is everything we've been talking about has been negative now for months. Yep. The market's aware of that. The market is priced in all that bad news. Now what you're seeing is 70 percent of companies have beat earnings expectations already so far this earnings season. We saw yesterday market melt up. Like snap of a finger because the news was good. So your biggest risk right now is positive news because we're just not factoring it in. When you get it, it pushes the market higher. Well, well, you've got to tell me about the Federal Reserve. I mean, they see the inflation numbers, 8.7 percent. Are they going to stop that, uh, you know, stop, um, uh, take their foot off the brake? They're going to do that? They're gonna, are they going to pivot? <laughs> Pivoting pal, that's what he does, right? He tells you one thing and does another. And I think that's what he told you yesterday is we're going to do it meeting to meeting. And I think what the undertone of that is, is look, if inflation is coming down, we're going to get more dovish. And I think that's what the market saw is they're flexible in what they're going to do with monetary policy. And that's extremely bullish. All right. Drum roll. What you buying? Um, I love right now. Financials look great. The energy sector is going to be good for a long time. We know energy, you know, peak demand is not for another decade away. Any value type play here is going to look very, very good. Anything with dividends that are increasing this year, companies that have pricing power like Ford had great earnings. Coca-Cola looks great. All the old school names, Stuart. Okay. I'm listening.